Thanks a lot for inviting me. Um, my name is Yasin Harim. I'm a PhD student at the lab of Dr. Heiko and Leo at the German Cancer Research Center here in Heidelberg. And um, I'm a guest user here at the Imaging Center using the Thunder Imager. So in the Heidelberg Science community, we knew that the EMBL was going to establish an imaging center here in Heidelberg. And um, I was already really excited about it because I apply a lot of imaging techniques to my, to my projects. And um, I attended the opening symposium, enabling imaging across scales here at the imaging center, and learned that actually the imaging center is open to external projects as well. So I decided to apply and uh, got my project approved. For me as a scientist, the entire experience here at the Imaging Center is really great. It's, uh, of course, the availability of cutting-edge instruments, um, but then also the support by application scientists, basically all the way from the beginning of the project, planning of the project, then um, preparing samples, if you have to, at the Imaging Center, then collecting the data at the microscope, analyzing the data and transferring it back to your home institute. Everything is supported by the IC. And, of course, also the integration into the Emble campus is great, with its amazing canteen, of course. So in my PhD I study the role of chromatin remodeling in brain development and disease and I do that uh, using genetically modified mouse models and I analyze them using not only single cell sequencing techniques but also um, collecting brain sections from embryonic, postnatal and adult mouse brains and then analyze them using multicolor immunofluorescent stainings. So here at the Thunder Imager 3D Life Cell I analyze up to four color immunofluorescent stainings. So I'm taking large tile scans with different Z planes as well. Um, to really document the entirety of the, of the section and uh, expression of different markers throughout the mouse brain. I would have definitely needed to spend more time on imaging. Um, I would have had the choice between basically traditional wide field systems or uh, spinning disk microscope, spending a little bit more time and getting lower quality images, or I would have needed to go for traditional confocal imaging, um, spending a lot more time, of course, getting very high resolution um, images. So the Thunder Imager for me really was the perfect solution to have a very high quality of images and also spend uh, little time because it's just so fast acquiring uh, each individual slide. So I really appreciate the quality that the Thunder Imager allows me to get on my images. Um, the quality combined with the very short acquisition time. Um, so here I'm looking to acquire an entire mouse brain depending on the size and the time point of course in a time frame of around 5 to maybe 15 minutes with the tile scan and the different z-planes. And if I have to decide for one single feature, it's going to be the spiral sample overview because that's just super useful to quickly get an overview of your sample. So for me, it's really important to choose a microscope that is perfectly suited to my needs. I think it uh, yeah, just makes me way more efficient, saves me time and allows me to get better images. So um, in my case, I need to image a lot of samples and also rather large samples. Um, so in this case, uh, I don't need confocal resolution actually. I still want good resolution and especially I need a good signal to noise ratio because my downstream application is going to be automatic cell segmentation and cell counting and that just requires that. So um, here at the Thunder Imager 3D Life Cell, it's a wide field system, so it allows me to really acquire my sample in a very short time frame, as I said, around 5 to 15 minutes, depending on the size of the sample. Um, and it comes with a couple of features, the quad bot filter, really nice LED light source, sensitive camera that just facilitate that. Um, and then later, using Thunder Large Volume Computational Clearing, I can remove this typical wide field haze. And, um, it can really well distinguish between uh, background and signal and that just uh, gives the, maybe the perfect starting point for my downstream analysis. Uh, actually, yes, I will continue to use the Thunder Imager. I still have uh, quite some experiments planned and also starting a little side project that will also include imaging. 
I will also be using Leica Mika, the new integrated micro hub. Um, I really like the integrated workflow there and I'm going to apply that for some samples um, where it's just going to save me a lot of time, especially thanks to the automated water cap system that allows me to get uh, high magnification 63x uh, water immersion um, objectives and uh, still have this automated workflow where basically I can just image sample by sample um, without having to uh, manually apply uh, water immersion, for example. So my experience at the Imaging Center was really, really great. Um, the staff are super supportive, the instruments are top of the line, so it really gave me the best uh, environment to perform my imaging-related project here. And um, yeah, it was really a great decision to start my project here and allowed me to accelerate my project much, much more than um, if I had not had the access to uh, come to the Imaging Center.